The theme for this year's Singapore International Energy Week is Accelerating Energy Transformation. The annual gathering of energy professionals, policy makers and commentators from around the world starts next Tuesday. And to tell us more about this, we have in the studio with us today Senior Minister of State for Trade and Industry, Dr. Kopo Kun. Well, Dr. Ko, thank you very much for coming in and speaking to us today. So, can you share with us the significance of this theme here, accelerating energy transformation and what it actually means for the industry? I think the world is much more focused on sustainability, especially with uh, climate change. Uh, Singapore has also made commitments to the Paris Agreement as well. So I think this team is helpful to bring together key policy makers, uh, key opinion leaders as well as industry to talk about how we can better look at sustainable way of uh, generating cleaner energy, mm -hmm. how we manage our energy use and our consumption as well. Right. So we want to work, work towards cleaner, more sustainable energy. What are the challenges for a country the size of Singapore to do that? In Singapore, when we talk about energy, we usually talk about our trilemma. Mm. A, a trilemma between three conflicting and sometimes contesting components, reliability, affordability and environmental sustainability. It's often not easy to get all these three uh, done at the same time because it involves some trade-offs. Just take for example, coal energy uh, is probably the cheapest form of fossil fuels, but it's also probably the most polluting. Mm. On the other hand, solar energy is probably one of the cleanest form of energy but it is not always reliable because in Singapore you have thick cloud cover and the weather plays a part in how reliable the source of energy is. So there you go, a trilemma that we have to strike a good balance. Mm. So what would be some of the solutions then to this um, you know, trilemma of, as you mentioned there, energy reliability, affordability and, and most importantly, environmental sustainability? Yes, so I think there are a few ways to look at this. One is we've got to focus a lot more on uh, deploying more renewable energy sources. In our case, solar would be one of the uh, more uh, affordable and probably the more reliable or, or more uh, appropriate source given the constraints of land and, 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 and other kind of natural resources we have. Uh, so we have deployed things like solar nova project across all government buildings, installing more of these uh, solar panels on our roofs of our public buildings, uh, including some HDB blocks as well. The other thing we can do is to step up on our research, for example, in, into areas such as uh, battery storage uh, technology so that for a source of uh, power like solar, you have better storage, therefore you up the reliability. And the other way is, of, of course, to look at how we can empower our workforce and also our people to use smarter technology, to mm -hmm. maybe have better insights on how you use energy, using a smart grid system, for example, using smart meters, so people see how they are consuming and hopefully moderate their behavior mm -hmm. as well on how they consume energy. Yes. Dr. Ko, I think, you know, what, what I hear you say is that we all need to really take more of a stake in understanding our energy usage. And, and I think that many of us have just taken it for granted, haven't we, over the years, exactly. right? Exactly. You flip a switch, you know. You have electricity. You have Turn on the tap, exactly. you have water. Yeah, and, and, and we need to know more. But what can businesses do? Because I think that businesses have a very important part to play here. Indeed. I think businesses can look at how they can uh, use cleaner sources of energy for their needs to reduce the carbon footprint and also perhaps look at investing a lot more in R&D for more sustainable energy solutions, for example. Uh, what they can do is also look at uh, working with institutes of learning to find uh, you know, co-creative solutions uh, to have a more sustainable energy future. I think this is something that we hope businesses will also pay a lot more attention to. Are we seeing that more and more in Singapore though with businesses? I mean, is, is this something that re they're really getting their teeth into? I think there are increasingly a lot more awareness. What we try to do is also to incentivize them to do so. We set aside a $1 billion fund to encourage energy efficiency projects in especially those with uh, higher emission uh, mm. industries. Mm. Dr. Cole, thank you very much thank for you coming very much. into the studios and sharing your perspectives with us on this very important topic that all of us have to have a stake in. That was uh, Dr. Kopo Kun, the Senior Minister of State for Trade and Industry, giving us a preview on what we can expect at the Singapore International Energy Week, and that is starting next Tuesday.